And it's fire season. Hot temperatures mixed with windy conditions creating the perfect grounds for even a small spark to turn into a dangerous blaze. ABC 4's Nick McGurk live tonight with what you need to know about fire safety. Emily, it is such an important message that these fires can start and spread so quickly. This is actually a uh, Draper hillside here. This is where a fire nearly burned down a couple of homes here. Absolutely a close call. Oh my gosh. A backyard in flames, a call into 911, and a man with a garden hose trying to defend his home. It was alive, it was ravenous, it was, it was almost sentient, it was eating, it was feeding on the hill, it was amazing. Around 1.45, crews responded to this fire outside of Mark Bramwell's home in Draper. Firefighters mission, save these homes. We were preparing to evacuate. Homeowners didn't have to evacuate, not this time. The fire was contained, but with the 4th of July looming, the message from officials could not be more clear. We are into the first day of being legally able to light fireworks. Um, we want people to be able to enjoy their, their holiday season, uh, but this should be a very good reminder that just because we had a wet spring, it doesn't mean that uh, we don't have a current threat. It could have cost lives, property, and it just would have been ugly. So. Back live here in Draper and talking to firefighters, they do confirm a human caused fire. They haven't told me exactly uh, what the cause was right now. They're just saying this could have been a whole lot worse. It's a little early in the season, so they still have resources that they're able to access pretty well. Uh, but there are restricted areas in the city of Draper where you cannot light fireworks and there's some where you can. This is definitely a restricted area. Folks, be safe out there. Live in Draper, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News. Thank you.